Guys, enjoy Katie's Corner. Here we go. You are good. Hi. Hi. So, um, welcome to Katie's Corner. Katie's bitch bit. Um, so, I know I started out with dark humor last week. And while I thoroughly enjoyed, um, I figure it might not be everyone's thing. And this is very, uh, early in the in the show so i was like you know what we'll just dial it back again uh so we got shitty dad jokes <laughs> another, another another thing in my uh in my uh wheelhouse um so my girlfriend just told me she had a brazilian I'm not good with numbers, but that sounds like a shit ton to me. <laughs> okay, that one's mildly racist, so I'm not saying that one. Oh, stop it. I gotta say this one just because, I mean, the community will love it anyway. Did, did you know the first trans people came from Egypt? It was when daddies became mummies. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Okay, I got one more. I got one more. <laughs> I'm reading a horror novel in Braille. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I'm so I'm so stupid. I can't stand it. Okay. So, I just, I don't even remember what I did last week. But I got a few topics that I just want to talk about. It's Katie's Corner. It's, I can do whatever the fuck I want. So, good luck with that. Um, So, I have a couple music things. Um, I'll do... A couple other things first, because that's uh, that's kind of what's been going on lately. Um, so I've been working a lot, like I said, but I have uh, I had a couple new students today. They've been giving me a lot of freaking students. I have I think thirteen students now, so that's freaking cool. Um, but I had a student today that um, she was with another teacher. And basically, she was just having, like, a really hard time coming out of her box. Like, she would sit and do, like, warm-ups and stuff, but, like, wouldn't sing. Like, was just, like, petrified, terrified. Anyway, she had been there for probably a month with this other teacher, and they decided to have her do, like, a trial run with me. Um, She's 13. She's so freaking sweet, and her mom is so sweet, too. And she was just, like, as soon as she walked in the door, like, the most bubbly thing ever. Like, she was just, like all about it she's saying we really got into it we uh we did an hour um normally it'd be a 30 minute uh lesson but we did an hour today just for like the introductory kind of thing to see if she wants to stick with me and she was like i love this so much she's like i feel like i learned a lot just today and like they're they're super excited um and it makes me really happy i, I even tell all my other students this i don't know if anyone out there is looking to be taught anything, um, whether it's music or any random thing that you would have like a one-on-one -on -one or tutor, anything like that. Um, for me, I I've had multiple vocal coaches in the past and sometimes like you just got to find the right, like therapy, cool. you have to find the right person for you. Um, and if it's not me, that's fine. But like today when it, if it does end up being me, that makes, makes my day. So I thought that was pretty cool. This, 13 year old girl was I heard her telling her mom when she was walking out she was like I really love today I had so much fun and like they were talking about like taking her out of the school and everything because she was like miserable almost but anyway that I, <laughs> I didn't say that anyway um so on another uh on another note I'm getting my studio up and running so I know if y'all have like been keeping up I think this is probably like episode number three that my angle's kind of different maybe something like that but um uh, i used to be that used to be my backdrop over here mr skeleton <laughs> back here um but i moved things around i'm actually at my desk now my desk had cords upon cords up upon pens upon headphones a million things on this desk um just all my studio stuff that i had not set up yet because i'm a bum um and i just i work a lot i've been working a lot for years um and I, while i've had the studio stuff in here all my guitars are in here all that kind of stuff um i never got set up so now i got it set up 
uh, pretty good. I'm starting to mess around with some stuff. I'm getting excited. I have a friend coming over tomorrow that messes around with a lot of stuff like that. And I'm going to get some pointers and tips. So that's going to be really cool because I have everything to do it and all at my disposal and I don't use it. So it makes me mad. So I'm excited. I'm going to start using it. Um, More music related stuff. Excited because I'm going to probably throw in here like if some people like release music that like we probably won't make a topic about, probably won't talk about. Um, I'm probably just going to add it to my little, my little, uh, case bit, bit. um, or, uh, Katie's Corner. <laughs> um, so, I picked two that, I- I'm not going to pick metal stuff unless it's just something I just, like, lose my shit about. Um, which is quite a bit, but, um, uh, unless I'm, like, everyone needs to listen to this. So, Snow Patrol, um, I feel like Snow Patrol can be, like, anyone's kind of music. Um, e- everyone knows Chasing Cars. Um, they released, like, a, a new EP, just about. Um, it consists of three songs. It's All, um, which is the one they just released. They, I think they've been releasing them as singles, but, like, adding it. I don't know how that shit works, but it's all, like, in the same thing, but they've been doing... I don't fucking know. They released three songs. Uh, <laughs> and then they did uh, All, which is the most recent one, and then they released uh, This is the Sound of Your Voice in the Beginning. Um, I love all these songs. What I love about Snow Patrol is just they, like Billy Eilish, like we talked about, it's just a certain kind of vibe that, like, I, I feel like Snow Patrol, it's not as, you know, prominent or anything, but it, it's just like that. They give, like, a bittersweet vibe in every single song that they have. It's just that kind of, like, nostalgic kind of bittersweet thing that they give you. Um, but this is the sound of your voice. That song has, I mean, those lyrics, I, give me chills, chills. I mean, you should listen to it, Chris. Um, so there's that. I'm going to round this out pretty quick. Um, I love Snow Patrol. I've always loved them. But those three songs. The Beginning, too, uh, is the other one. It's uh, it's pretty more compelling to other people. Uh, this is the sound of your voice. It's like a really ballad, like, singer-songwriter kind of thing. But all of them are great. Y'all should go check them out. Um, also... <laughs> everyone gives this dude shit and I kind of do um didn't used to but kind of do now um that would be Chris Daughtry um they okay first of all what the fuck have y'all they have released a new album and this is just the album I know about they could have been like this for the past five years without my knowledge when I was just getting into rock I came across Chris Daughtry, Creed, Three Days Grace, Breaking the you know, the basic. Um, <laughs> basic. So, I got a, I loved Daughtry, and if some certain songs come on, I'll still listen to them, but I just hopped right out of that, just like I did Creed, God. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, I saw last year, so Breaking Benjamin... Like I said, they have always been one of my favorites. They were my first concert, and I've seen them again since then. But I saw that they went on tour together. I was like, what? That makes no fucking sense. Because Breaking Benjamin kind of gets heavy. They get pretty heavy. They scream a little bit. Like, they get pretty heavy sometimes. Anyway, I went and checked it out. What the hell? So, it's like, I I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. Because, like... I like Chris Daughtry and, like, the whole thing he was doing before, like, his old stuff, like, it's not over kind of era. That's pretty good shit, you know? But now it just gives, like, oh, Dad was in a band 30 years ago and he's trying to make a living out of it. (laughs) It gives that vibe. And they sound like they have, like, a Breaking Benjamin vibe now. Like, it's just, it's really weird. Like, the music and everything, but Chris Daughtry is the same. Nothing has changed there. It's just, I don't know. I saved a couple songs just to kind of, because I didn't know how I felt. One of them was a reckoning. I don't like the lyrics in any of them. I don't like these weird, like, positive <laughs> lyrics. I don't like weird positivity. No, I'm kidding. It's just like, it just seems like, like, go follow your dreams. You got this. Nothing can tear you down. And like, that, I'm tired of that shit. Tell me you want to rip someone's head off, and I was so jammed to that. Um, no, but um, I don't know. It, it's like, because it has, like, the ass behind it, like, like 
Breaking Benjamin does, but like the like Chris Daughtry himself hasn't changed, so it's kind of like a weird vibe. I don't know how I really feel about it, but worth mentioning. Y'all should go check it out. I send him my bitch fit. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. So, um, one thing a lot of people may not know about Chris Daughtry, since you brought him up, Chris Daughtry is the third highest selling artist in the history of American Idol. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew he was on American mm -hmm. I was and then we got Carrie Underwood and Kelly, probably yep, or That's right. There. Very good. Well done, yeah. Um so the top two I know are, my shit. the top two are easy to figure out. It's the next mm -hmm. three that are usually that will usually throw people And then off. we have, uh, what's her face? What's her name? God, I can see her face. She's freaking beautiful. Tell me who the other three are, and I know she's in there. So number four, number three, obviously, is Chris Daughtry. Number four, I don't think anybody would guess. Who? And, and then number five, I'll, I'll get to number four in a minute. Number five is Fantasia. Uh, Fantasia Barino. Um, I don't know who that is. So Fantasia was it was amazing. Um, but num no, number four was Clay Aiken. Really? Yeah. I was thinking about uh, she's still relevant. She was she was an actress for a while, and God, I can't. Are you, are you thinking about Lauren Olena? No. no, God, no. Oh my God, you just oh Jennifer Hudson. You're thinking of Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson, yes. yeah. So Jennifer Hudson's actually eleventh in record sales. Yeah. What? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm about tired of these random so, emotes. I just didn't phone Just up top ten. To top ten are Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, Chris Daughtry, Clay Aiken, Fantasia Barino, Ruben Studdard, Scotty McCreary, Kelly Pickler, yeah. David Cook, and Philip Phillips. I love Philip Phillips. So that those He's ten all have more record sales than Jennifer Hudson. Um, well, Jennifer Hudson hasn't really done a lot of music, but right. she did like acting for but a minute. But she's the only one, the only one from American Idol that I know of that has won an Oscar. So, I'm pretty sure she's the only. 